hi everyone welcome to geek decoders youtube channel so today's my tutorial is about displaying this year this month this week and today's sales data in power bi uh, dashboard so let's go to the tutorial and see how we can display these values so towards the end of the tutorial you will get to know how to create this type of this year sales value this month sales value this week sales value and today's sales value uh, in a card visual uh, and also you will learn how to do uh, conditional formatting like you know setting colors based on the values in card visual uh, and also how to write measurements in order to get these values so let's go to the tutorial and see how we can achieve that so to demonstrate the today's tutorial i'm going to use this data sheet so it contains salesperson item sales value and sales date right so now it's time to create the measurements to display each value so for that i go here and create a new measurement right so i will write the new measure as this year sales value right so then here i'll be using a function call calculate so then i want to get the sum of sales value and then i need to filter it i use the filter function and uh, as a input i need to give the table and expression sales date dot year equals to year so today's year then i close the brackets right so my measure for this year sales value is completed right so now it's time to write this month sales value so i write this month sales value so same function i'll be using calculate sum of sales value and then close it then i use the filter and then table and then i use sales date dot month number so you had to use a month number function right so equals month date today right so that is the measure for the for getting the month sales value right so now it's time to write the this week sales value so we write same function calculate sum sales value and then i use the filter and then i use the table and then here i will use sales date dot surprise so now you can't see the week value here Therefore, how, what I use is, I remove this part, I will use the week num function here. Week num sales date dot date equals to week num of the date today, right? Now I will close all the brackets. Right, so this measure will be used to take the sales value of the week, this week. Right, so now it's time to write the, the today's sales value. So I will write today sales value. So very straightforward, calculate some values. Filter by 
sales date dot date equals today right so our measures are done now so now it's time to go for the designing part so and now as you can see my all the measures are there now it's time to design it so i will add a card function right and for that i will add the this year one right so as you can see now we can see the value here right same i will add uh, i will copy this four times then it's easy right right so for this i will use this month sales value as a value and this I remove this one and i add this week sales value and this one i remove this one and i add today's sales value right okay so now as you can see our measures are done so i'll add the board as well for the clear demarcation right Right, so yeah, the basic structure of the uh, designing has been done now. So now I need to do one thing. So if something is blank, so I need to show it as zero. So let's see how we can modify today's sales value function to cater that. So if it is blank to show zero, right? So this is the function. So actually, if in, in Power BI, there's an inbuilt function called is blank right i think i can use it like that in this blank so then i have to give the value so this is the value right so this is a boolean so this will return something boolean so let's see uh, we get the output of this one right so if i go to my dashboard Right. So as you can see, now it displays true. Right. So now uh, we need to show zero here. So let's see how we can do that. Right. So now uh, again, I will add a if condition because I want to display zero if the value is is blank. So I will add if. Right. So then. Right. So this will be my logical test. Right. And then. If logical test is true, that means this part is true, then I need to display zero. Else, right, I will press Alt Enter here. Else, I want to display calculate, so this value expression sum of sales value and then filtered by table and then sales debt dead date equals today right okay so if it's not blank so you I need to show the value right so now it's time to close the brackets right so my function is done let's see the outcome right so now as you can see today's sales value show as zero now is blank value has gone now we'll see how to add uh, conditional formatting for these values conditional formatting in the sense let's say our sales target okay 40,000 below that means we haven't achieved anything so 40 to 50,000 we are in a moderate stage then 50 above for the year so then we are good so likewise we set some values in order to display certain colors for each of these ranges let's see how we can do that right so let's say if i setting some value for this month value so if you go here go to this one and background go to conditional formatting and then here you add a rule okay you have to set a minimum value let's say 
okay for this month the minimum value would be for 4000 and then if it is between 4000 to 5000 my sales value then I need to display okay uh, green color let's see we are some do assumption like that right let's see what will happen right as you can see based on our reels that we are defining in the conditional formatting this will uh, change the values or this this will uh, change the color so that is how we set conditional formatting for this type of cards now you can do define rules for each and every cards that as, as you want in your dashboard so uh, thank you for watching my video so this is how uh, usually in power bi dashboards we uh, get the sales value for year month uh, week and today's sales state sales value and accordingly so we can set different colors and so by looking at someone uh, in the dashboard they can see whether we are performing good or not based on the color codes so thank you very much for watching my video now please subscribe my channel for more power bi videos